Hi, and welcome to my playhouse and to the data center. Um, I have some RAM that I'm going to be installing today, tiny one, but I want to um, talk to you about VMware as well because yesterday I saw a, um, an article in a Danish tech information magazine publisher something something computerworld.dk and they were writing about how VMware had became somewhere between 800% and 1500% more expensive. I do believe it was mostly among local cloud providers. If you wanted a virtual VMware server on their location, it had gotten very, very expensive. And um, yeah, 800%. That means that if, if a company was already paying a million dollars for their VMware licensing, well, suddenly it was eight million dollars, which, which is really a considerable price increase. And also, apparently VMware is stopping with per perpetuary, perpetuary licensing, meaning that you can, you can own the license and now they mo want you to only rent it and um, you can rent it for one, two, three years. I don't know if there's more than that, but you had to like rent it for three years before they would even consider giving you a discount on the already way too high price. I really just wanted to reflect on my good choice on moving over to Proxmox because that's just dumb. And well, I read that article yesterday and just later that same day, the, the, the orange leader of the free country uh, claimed that now um, he, was, he was ready to put 50% tariffs on, on the EU, which is definitely not gonna help the matter. Proxmox is made in Austria, and um, I think I can highly recommend that if you're in the EU or if you're just outside of the US, because um, as you would see in any good action movie or thriller, uh, somebody would at this moment be uh, be yelling, it's a trap! Uh, yeah, it's a trap. Don't go for the VMware stuff. They are um, you over. But enough rambling, let's get to what this video is about. And uh, let me check if this has been recording anything. This new camera doesn't show me the little red dot that I'm recording, so I stand here rambling along and gets more and more nervous. <laughs> okay, it had recorded, okay. Up here in the on the rack, <laughs> not taking up too much space, is my little Proxmox server, which has been done, well, doing marvelous for quite a while. It um, It's a TerraMaster F8, which is a little NAS box that is uh, meant for putting in uh, up to eight NVMe drives that you use in your NAS but it also has a decent CPU it has the only limitation is that it only uses one RAM block so at the moment I have a 32 gigabyte RAM block in that that runs my entire Proxmox um, but I ran into some RAM issues uh, let me just talk to you about that so this new camera that I purchased to make my videos on is a few years newer than the previous one that I got. I got this one used, uh, plus it's not a new model, it's about four years old, the model. But the model is still newer than what I was using before, which means that all the codex files and stuff inside the cameras had changed. So um, my uh, editing server didn't like that, and I ran into the issue that um, I didn't have the right codex for it and when I installed the codex uh, I ran out of disk space and as I was running on this little NAS here I had limited the amount of RAM on the editing server from 32 gigabytes of memory to 16 gigabytes of memory and that worked fine on the old camera no issues whatsoever but this camera when I was putting the, the video the raw video into the project and it would be caching that file to make it easier for me to edit, well, it would stop and it would say, out of memory. Um, 
uh, wasn't great because as this box only has uh, 32 gigabytes of memory and I was already using 16 of it for the editing server well, uh, I can give it a little bit more so I gave it 4 gigabyte more and it went up to 20 gigabytes and it actually did I could import some more of my video clips <laughs> was great then it ran out of space on the hard drive again because now uh, I had uh, I had increased the size of the memory and there was this hibernation file on the drive that had now grown plus all the other crap that was on that drive so yeah I ran into I had to free up space on the drive to to blah 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 and um, yeah, I could import some more of these clips and then it said again out of memory so I increased it to 24 gigabytes of memory now I'm, I'm really getting close because well you know 32 gigabytes and for uh, 24 gigabytes used by the editing computer alone there was only 8 gigabytes left for everything else plus uh, the, the amount of space on that hard drive the C drive where this hibernation file was located well that was getting tight as well but I managed to to expand that drive a little bit so that that wasn't an issue anymore and I managed to finish the video but I thought uh, 32 gigabytes of memory is not quite enough I need a bit more I actually found out that this NAS box can handle um, 48 gigabyte memory blocks according to um, to the internet I googled it somebody would say I have researched this yeah I googled it and uh, I found some some blocks um, claiming that this block of memory would work in that NAS and so that's what we're gonna try today I'm gonna put that in there but first we're gonna go to the computer and I'll show you how it looks now so that we can see uh, the increase when it gets this RAM block and it's um, it's there and it has a model number as well if I find the time I'll link to this RAM block if you have this issue so that I can make some of those awesome affiliate money <laughs> so let's go to the computer okay here is the computer and I'm on the Proxmox server and you can see right there ah, ish that it's um it's pretty uh, close it, it's using a lot of the memory that it has and i i've even shut down some of the stuff that i was playing around with just so that it it would have enough memory to do my videos so right now it's uh, it has a total of 31.08 let's just round that up to 32 and you can see that it's using those 24 uh, so we're gonna I'll just show the virtual machines on here I'm only running apparently two so I'm I'm only using the editing server and my PF sense at the moment to just to make this uh, <laughs> just to make this run so we're gonna shut this down and we're gonna put in that memory block Okay, well, luck, it's off now. Yep, it's not lighting up, so we're gonna remove the cables. Three of them, and the box is out. And my internet is out as well because this one is the box that is running PFSense. I didn't even I didn't even put in the screw to hold it together, so okay so here is the box again and it has been running perfectly well uh, all the time while we play with it and um, I did a whole video series on this thing when uh, when I got it so here we have an we have a USB port down here that is being uh, bended up and making a turn and then there is an, a USB SSD not a USB stick, but an SSD with a USB connector. So, um, yeah, that, that was pretty cool. And I had to had to remove the casing of it so that it could fit down there. So that was that was fun. And we have an NVMe disk there. We have room for three more here. On the other side, we have another 
uh, NVMe drive, room for three more. And then we have our 32 gigabyte DDR4 5 RAM here, 4800 megahertz. Uh, so that's the one that we're gonna be replacing. And we are apparently replacing it with another brand. It's not exactly the same, but Kusher, yeah, never mind. So I haven't had this out, so I probably should have, so that just to make sure that it was all good. Okay, I have the packaging open here. Yeah, this RAM was um, wasn't cheap, but it wasn't too bad either. And I would very much uh, thank my patrons because um, I saw Patreon money go into this project. I do believe my patrons paid for this one as well. So uh, <laughs> thank you, thank you, patrons. Uh, so we need to have this. Don't touch anything. That you know, RAM. So there and DDR5 RAM that is still new to me so we need to put that in it looks like it goes in that way well let's take um, and that is really unfortunate for this box here that it only has one RAM block but apparently that's the CPU that is limited to uh, to only have one RAM channel uh, so we can take that out we can see what's beneath it we have the little button battery there beneath the RAM. And we have a, a chip. Not entirely sure what that chip does, but yeah. <laughs> this is such a simple thing, uh, putting in a new RAM block, but uh, hopefully this is gonna give me 16 gigabyte more of RAM on my Proxmox uh, server to play with. And the funny thing is, I put this into production during winter because I wanted to save power uh, because my solar panels wasn't producing enough power for my need and uh, to save on cost and stuff and uh, at the moment <laughs> that was then at the moment it's it's uh, getting to be summer and right now I'm producing so much power that I don't know what to do with it but yeah I think it would be stupid to start just wasting power again I think it's smarter to keep it at a minimum but know that I, I can I can use more if I really want to so um, there so that is in and um, there was a magic trick to this one when I was messing around putting in this 32 gigabyte it didn't come with 32 gigabyte of memory it came with a smaller one I think it was an 8 or a 16 and then I upgraded it with this block but uh, in the first video that I did where I upgraded it with this one it failed spectacularly and that was because um, I didn't wait long enough uh, this box when it gets a new RAM block it uh, looks it over for quite the amount of time and enough time so that I thought that's not working and I cut power to it and um, someone said that oh you didn't wait long enough and it's slow the first time and that turned out to be true uh, but it was so much time that it was like unbelievably long time so uh, you know when you turn on a computer and nothing lights up you um, you wait for a few seconds and then you nah, that's not working and this I think it took almost four minutes before it uh, it it went live but now I know it and now I'm sharing that with you so if you do this RAM upgrade and let's just imagine that it works later in this same video well give it a lot of time before you give up on it let's see if we can connect this again oh. Oh. some of the cables are not quite long enough for it to come this way I, I should have should have pulled them a little bit longer I could have done that it has a USB C uh, connector that uh, goes into a, uh, a network adapter is that the power yeah there and then we power it on and it powers up 
and I haven't connected any monitor to it or anything so uh, I have to wait five minutes and go to the computer and see if it does anything and as the internet is down we can play the win uh, the waiting game here I'm looking through the monitor of the camera I'm gonna die in a bit well, yeah <laughs> without the internet we can always do the do the little ah yeah that wasn't far at some point the internet will come back on because it the NAS is set up to uh, to start Proxbox and Proxbox is set up to start up the virtual machines automatically and if that doesn't happen I know that this isn't working okay that was disappointing I didn't even get to finish my second game just after I I, uh, I stopped talking to you last but it is working look at that we have 46 gigabytes of memory there and it's using it's using quite a bit of it because now uh, more of the virtual machines started up you see there is four virtual machines over there so huge success but uh, still disappointed that I didn't get to finish my second game so that was indeed very unexpected that it worked on the first um, try so uh, yeah highly recommend it it's the next day so I'm finishing this video up I forgot to film the, the, the ending of it so it has been running without any issues for the last 22 hours or so so um, yeah cool works no problem and I even have a 32 gigabyte block now that I don't have an immediate use for but something will come up but this is one of the instances where um, you can you can purchase the box that is uh, only supposed to do 32 gigabytes of memory and then it turns out that it can actually do more than what they intentionally set on the box because um, nobody thought about these 48 gigabyte RAM blocks so awesome it does not do 64 gigabytes so don't buy that one uh, that has been tested by multiple people and they say that it doesn't work so Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel so that you can see me again and have a really nice day. Bye bye.